Once again, tip, you're on point five. Once again, tip, when I watch me bust they shit. Okay. <laughs> All right, time to change the oil in the car. I just want to show you a little bit of the aftermath from me being so low. Hopefully in about a week's time or so, I can raise it up about maybe an inch and a half so that I can get some clearance or I can actually get around town, but it's not too bad. Hey, still intact. I have made new brackets and I'll update you on how I did that later. Just went to Lowe's, picked up some metal. I don't know if you can see that there. Now I have room. Uh, not as low as I would like it, but um, still more work, more progress to do. So a little bit lower than it was before. Before it was sitting on right below the bumper beam, but now I have more airflow now. But still work in progress. <laughs> Right, guys here's my loaner car for today uh, my car was turned into the dealer today to get some warranty work done for a uh, torn cv boot so they're fixing it under warranty i got this nice little legacy fully loaded leather eyesight all that good stuff in here so this navigation pretty cool brand pretty much brand new i'm just driving around for now about 300 miles on it so never tried this little eyesight thing but we'll see how it works looks pretty cool nice little uh gimmick i could try but yeah loaner car we'll drive the shit out of this so i went to put the stock sti spoiler and i noticed that because of the big wing the stock sti spoiler doesn't uh fit very well anymore probably because of you know the downforce and the lift and the drag it creates um, probably warped the mounting points in the trunk just a little bit but if you look there's right here i don't know if you can see that but there's a good about a quarter inch gap or so in there and i'm not too comfortable with it but it looks like the big wing's gonna come back on so i usually change it up you know once a month you know just to change things up but it's not a big deal because it only takes me about 30 minutes to swap out the wings so to add on to the list of problems that have been going on with the car, this is a broken rear end link from White Line. Yes, it broke. You can see, broke cleanly off. A little, uh, what you call it there. So that's it. I've contacted White Line. I sent them an email, a picture, proof of purchase, whatever you name it. But if any of you have dealt with White Line in the past, you know they are very hard to get a hold of. And I'll be surprised if. I even get a replacement or even a response. So what I did right now was just put the stock end link back in with the white line sway bar, um, which is not really recommended. Stock end links suck and they're pencil thin, um, but I'll think of about purchasing um, some more heavy duty ones. Later on, I don't know which ones, but we'll see. So there's the car with the um, STI spoiler on the car. Um, it's too late now, um, getting kind of tired. Um, to deal with it to swap it back over to the big wing um, but I know some of you guys prefer 
um this look a lot better um anyways but i'm uh leave it on there for a day or two um just to work and back which isn't very far and i'm gonna swap over that gap is just too much for me to handle i gotta figure something out if i want to swap back and forth but i'm out